Hi everyone, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I'm just coming on to do a quick video to show you some of the tags that I've been working on. Um, I have mainly been working on candy cane tags and if you're on Facebook or Instagram, um, I'm Greenwood Girl on Instagram, G-R-E-E-N-W-D-G-I-R-L. You might have already seen these, but this is just, these are little um, candy cane tags. And I think you guys have seen me do these in the pr traditional red and white, but this year I decided to use some tilde papers. And I thought I'd come on and just show you guys. You can do them as simple as just cutting the die out of two different papers, gluing it together, and just adding a touch of stickles and a little piece of twine. Or you can kind of um, take it up a notch is what I call it. and. Um, when I take it up a notch, I take the same t exact tag, um, add the glitter and let it dry, and then after it's dry, I go in and I add some additional little things to it. Um, so this is still just a Christmas tag, but it says Warm Winter Wishes Now, and that's um, a stamp that I stamped and cut out from um, Lily of the Valley Stamps in the UK, and it's the same little tag stamps that I sent um, in Elise's swap package, um, not swap, yeah, swap package a few weeks back. Um, and then this is a little bow charm that I ordered from Etsy, from a shop on Etsy. And if you um, search for bow charms, it'll, these will come up. Um, and then underneath here is a little felt snowflake that I die cut out of um, some mint green felt. And um, I get all of my wool felt on Etsy also. And it comes in rolls and it's really easy. It's cut in rolls that fit your die cutting machine. And um, they go through the Vagabond perfectly. Um, I can't say enough about having an electronic die cutter. Those of you guys that are still hand cranking, um, when you're, if your die cut machine ever breaks and you need to get a new one, I highly recommend the Vagabond. It makes die cutting such a breeze. Um, so anyway, this is kind of taking it up a notch with some additional little tags on it. This one's got a green bow. And then there's a couple more. This one has a purple bow. It says Glad Tidings and a little green snowflake. And then this one has two glittered um, Christmas bells, the snowflake, and then the little tag says Merry Christmas. So a whole set of these little candy cane tags and they're on this little heart dish sitting in my craft room, all ready to be tied on to some gifts. And actually, some of these are going to be making their way to a few people's houses for their Christmas trees. Um, I'm going to send some of these off to Laura for her tree. Laura just posted a beautiful um, Curating Christmas video response to my giveaway. So I hope you'll go to Laura's channel, which is The Robin Laura, on YouTube and see the beautiful Christmas tree she has there. She has ornaments on it from Anna Yanez and... Oh, I'm not even going to be able to remember everybody. I think Vicki, um, who's TryHeart67. Um, gosh, Laura, I can't remember everybody you said now, but she has ornaments from all of all of you wonderful ladies out there. Um, all of her crafty friends have sent, different people have given her ornaments over the years, so she decorated her tree with them, and it's just charming. Um, it makes me want to put a tree in my craft room. I have a little tiny tree that I showed you guys in my giveaway video, but um, it makes me want to get like a white tree and then put a bunch of these types of ornaments on it. So maybe I will do that. We'll have to see how the budget holds up. Um, but anyway, so these are the candy cane tags. And then down below here, you guys have seen these before, but I made another handful of the little stocking tags and they're all glittered up for Christmas. They have little snowflake charms on them. And this one just has little twine bow on it. This one has these really cute reindeer charms. And the charms have a little butterfly. Isn't that cute? Her little, she's got little butterfly on the Bambi, on the little baby reindeer. So this one says Glad Tidings and it's a pink gingham. Uh, this one again is just a twine bow, Peace on Earth. Uh, what does this one have? This one has one of those little ribbon charms. And it also says Peace on Earth, and this one's Green Gingham. And this one is, this one says Christmas Wishes. And this one's a tilde paper. So I have all of those all ready for giving away and gift giving. Um, 
And then over here, there's some more, um, the rest of the ones that I made that aren't up here. Um, I put some in this dish also. And then these are just some tags I'm getting ready to wrap some ribbons up to send to people. And then a few more of the stocking tags. Um, so I, I need to start making some other tags though because I've done a lot of the same things this year. I think I showed you guys these tags. I don't know if I showed them to you completed. But this is kind of a shabby vintage looking tag. Um, and I made a whole stack of them as you can see. And um, they have, um, one of the neat things you can do with your fabric, I always look for gingham and plaid fabrics, and then I tear strips and tear them into strips and make bows with them to put on my tags. So that's what I did here. And then there's some uh, mercury glass stickles glitter added to the center of these to make them sparkle. And these I just have sitting in this adorable box that I found um, at the thrift store, believe it or not, a set of three of them. They're just charming. And I, I use them to give people gifts in, but for now I'm just using it to hold these tags. So that's a neat thing you can do with your boxes is just kind of distress them a little bit and then add glitter to them. And it makes a really festive way to give a gift and all you have to do is tie a bow, you know, just to length of ribbon around it. So all of those are sitting in there. And uh, sorry, I made a lot of the same thing. It's not as exciting as seeing <laughs> different things. Um, this is a piece of milk glass that I don't know if I showed everybody yet, but it's just a really cute little milk glass bowl. So I have that upside down and um, I paid $4.99 for it. And actually I got 30% off of that because they were having a sale that day. Um, and then there's my, my one little thing. I need to make more of these. But what I have been doing in preparation for making more of the little half snow globes is I made all these houses. And I actually made about 10 more than this. And uh, I have them packaged up already. And I'll show you in a minute. But there's the two different style houses and I have a whole bunch of them sitting here ready. Here's some of the little um, stocking tags in red and white gingham with a little brown snowflake charm tied on. So anyway, those are a couple more of the, the more traditional colors. Here's um, this tag with just holly instead of the ribbon added. And then um, I was going to show you one other thing. I'm going to ro roll up some of these silver and gold um, knot and bow uh, glitter twines. And I so I printed out some of Irala Miha's paper and instead of printing the ribbon cards at full size I reduced them so that they're about two inches tall about the length of my thumb and so then they're the perfect size to wrap twine on to give as gifts so I'm going to wrap that twine I'm going to cover you up for a second and I'm going to show you over here on my couch I have staged packages that are going to go out today so the people that asked me for that ribbon that I scored at the thrift store the white um, twill ribbon um, I'm getting ready to mail packages out um, with some goodies in them. So um, that is it for me today. Um, you can see my curated space has is, is definitely been <laughs> rummaged through as I've been working on things. Um, I'll show you this really quick. I'll show you these cute ornaments I found for my nieces and nephews. I give them an ornament every year. Um, my nie nephew Cole and my two nieces. So at the thrift store the other day, I found these three ornaments when I was looking for a coat for my son and dropping off, really dropping off his old coat. I didn't find anything for him, but I'm going to have to break down and go buy him a coat. <laughs> so he's got one, but um, he's outgrowing it rapidly. So, um, so there's my area. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can show you really quick. Um, I don't think there is. So I guess um, let me take you back over here and I will. Oh, I know there was one other thing um, on Irala Miha's shop. I did order some new papers and one of the papers I ordered are these little dresses and you can size them to all different sizes on your um, if you know how to do that with digital um, products. So these are some bigger ones that I made to put um, 
crocheted flowers on and then there's also some smaller sized ones uh, maybe I used all the smaller sized ones but anyway um, so that's a cute little um, you know a cute little girl's uh, dress and I just thought that was so sweet and let me come over here so you can see it because it's hard to see when you're holding it up over a bunch of things so anyway thanks very much for watching um, I believe three people have responded to my giveaway now, Elise and Laura and, oh, geez, I'm going to have to look to see who the third person was. I want to say it's P, but I'm not sure. Is it Whimsical Endeavors? I'm going to have to go look, you guys. I swear you hit 50, you guys, and your mind just does not hold things as long as it used to. So <laughs> I'm going to have to go take some vitamins or something. Oh, and one last thing to show you. Um, is my little snowman friend here. Isn't she cute? I found her at the thrift store too the other day. So I actually went to the thrift store again this week, but it was only because we went through my son's clothes and I had to drop a ton of stuff off and I ran in because I love looking at Christmas stuff and I found this little snowman. Isn't she cute? She's holding a tree. So she's going to be my Christmas mascot in my craft room this year. So she's just going to sit here right on my desk and you guys can see her each time I do a video. All right, I'm going to run. Thanks for taking a look. And um, I hope you guys, if you haven't seen my giveaway video, please go and um, at least leave a comment so you can be eligible for the giveaway. I am working on things to send out with the giveaway. And um, I guess that's it for now. Uh, thanks to everybody that has commented and made a video. And also thank you to everybody that subscribed to my channel. I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye now.